If you feel it, I keep it real in most. I know you're feeling it. Crystals are nice. I like the toes. I keep on spilling it. Bone crushes. I keep real close. I got the skill for this. On my back, the fly is closed. Looking ill as shit. Transactions illegitimate. Cause life is still a bitch. And then you die. But for now, Okay guys, I just got done listening to Jay-Z's final track from Reasonable Doubt, the 1996 album titled Regrets. I definitely enjoyed it. The album as a whole was insane, bro. I can't, oh my goodness, I can't wait. Can't wait to uh, to listen to these tracks again. Like Brooklyn's Finest, Dead Presidents, Feeling It. Uh, just track for track, man. This album was amazing. I loved it. Um, I'm I'm not. I really would. I really want to listen to his next album now, but I don't know. Maybe I will. I'll see. But uh, yeah, I definitely enjoyed it, track for track. I think it was amazing. Uh, honestly, one of the greatest. Like, and this is debut as well. One of the greatest debut albums in hip hop history. But I still got Nas's Illmatic as my. I think Nas's Illmatic might be my all-time favorite uh hip-hop debut because just like the everything he put into that album and it's still just so dope to go back and listen to on a daily basis so um i guess only time will tell how that affects this album like uh like is it one of those albums i can just go and listen to track for track or is it just like one of those albums you listen to a couple tracks here and there or I don't know only time will tell but I think track for track it was amazing production I thought was amazing as well I'm really curious as to like who produced a lot of these tracks um like who did Dead President Ski I don't know who that is DJ Premier DJ Irv Big Jazz DJ Premier Clark Kent um yeah, but I think the production on this was amazing, and the fact that this is 1996, it, when it feels like, it felt like maybe 91, 90, no, not maybe 90, well, it felt earlier than 96, you know what I'm saying, it felt like 92, 93, so I'm wondering if maybe he like recorded a lot of this earlier and released it in 96, or... Or what? But I definitely enjoyed it. I thought uh, the overall feel as well was amazing. It had this like vintage, very classic New York vibe to it, and it was just amazing. And uh, yeah, I can't. I definitely can't wait to go back and just listen to track for track with lyrics pulled up and see, you know, especially on like Brooklyn's Finest because I it's been a while since I've listened to that one. I listened to it again today, but. It's still amazing. Like, you know, a lot of these tracks has... He was saying some crazy stuff that I know for a fact I wasn't catching. But, um, yeah, I definitely enjoyed it. I might do a remaster bonus track. Can I Live 2? I might check... Should I check out Can I Live 2? Uh, Can I Live? That was one of the tracks... Oh, no. Yeah, it was. Can I Live? I might check out Can I Live 2 as well. Let me let me know should I check out Can I Live 2, um, the remaster bonus track. But other than that, I really enjoyed this album. Uh, I don't really have too much to say. Um, but yeah, it was a well done album. Well done. And uh, I can definitely see myself listening to this one a couple more times throughout today at least. But we'll see how it turns out. Um, I, I got a great feeling about it. I know a lot of the tracks on here were just... Man, like the beats and everything were just insane. Um, and uh, yeah, I really enjoyed listening to it. Jay-Z's Reasonable Doubt album. And if you guys enjoyed it as well, make sure you smack the like button, subscribe if you're new. And comment down below what the tracks, albums, or movies I should check out next time. And until then, much love, stay safe, and peace out.